In this video, I'm going to do a case study that will show you how to do auto blogging with Article Forge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating um, articles on Article Forge so that it automatically updates and adds these articles directly to my WordPress website every single day. I'm going to show you how I do that and I'm going to do that with a free tool. The only tool that you're going to need is Article Forge and the other tool that I'm going to use is 100% free. I'm very excited to show you this and I'm going to show you how I do it. I've been doing it for a couple with a couple of websites now and I'm going to add another one here to my arsenal and I'm going to show you every step of the way while I do that. So if you don't already have Article Forge or you don't know what it is, Article Forge is really an amazing piece of software. What it does is it's an AI content writer and it will write unique articles every single time. They pass Copyscape every single time. All you have to do is put in one keyword or a series of keywords and or a keyword and a series of sub keywords and it will write really, really good articles. And here, as of the last update, Article Forge will now write really good factual information as well. Now, you always, if you're going to be using this on an authority website, you must always fact check them before you publish them. But I've been noticing here lately that um, the, the websites that I am posting to, I just want content on. So I'm not really worried about fact checking them, but if you're really worried about fact checking them, go, you're going to need to fact check them still. But the fact checking with Article Forge has become very, very good here lately. So um, if you ha don't have Article Forge, you can get a five day free trial down below in the description box. Click that link get a five-day free trial, follow along with me because this is really cool how this works. So I'm assuming that you're going to have a WordPress website already. If you don't have a WordPress website, I'm not going to get into how to do web WordPress on this site. So you're going to need a, uh, you're going to need uh, domain hosting. You're going to need a domain name and you're going to need to be able to install WordPress on that. Once you have WordPress installed, um, you're going to, that's all you need is just WordPress installed. You don't need any plugins or anything like that. So you're going to need to add WordPress and you'll do that over here on the left hand side of the screen. And you'll just need to add WordPress right here. Just click the add WordPress blog, fill in your information and then click connect and it'll connect it right to Article Forge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this uh, new website that I've just put in here, Fertility Scoop. I've got stuff on there already, but I want it to come from Article Forge now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a campaign that will allow Article Forge to automatically write articles every single day and automatically send those articles, push them over to my WordPress blog. I don't have to do anything else. The only thing I'm going to have to do is just keep watching every other day or every week or so just to make sure that everything is working right and my articles are still being pushed over. So the tool that I'm going to use is you're going to need to get your keywords. So this is a keyword tool that I'm using. And I'm using this tool because the keywords that it pushes out, when I push them in Article Forge, they make amazing, amazing articles from them. And let me open up a new tab. I'm going to link to this down below. So it's going to be answerthepublic.com. And this is an amazing, amazing keyword tool. And all you have to do is you put in a keyword here. And let me scroll down a little bit. And you put in a keyword, whether it be a broad keyword or whether it be a, um, a, a single keyword or what, you know, whatever you want to put in there. And it will create questions that are people, people are asking about. And you take those questions and you put those questions in the article forge and they make awesome articles out of those questions. So in this instance, my website is about fertility. So I'm going to put fertility in here. Now, um, answer the public is 
kind of uh, a freemium kind of tool, meaning that they give you a few free searches per day per IP. Um, you really do need to pay for it if you use it, but they give you some free searches. I just use the free searches, and um, I really don't need any more than the one to two free searches, whatever they give you every day. So um, I'm going to put in fertility, and I'm going to click search. And this is going to go through. It's going to tell you the date that you search. And um, it's going to show you all 80 questions. This gives you a uh, graphical form. I don't want that graphical form, so I'm going to click on the data here. And this is all of the um, keywords that I can be putting in to Article Forge. So our fertility rates dropping. That's a good article. Our fertility tests free that's a good article can fertility problems be hereditary that's a good article all of these questions are amazing articles for article forge that you can that you can post to your wordpress website every single day so what i'm going to do here is see up here at the top where it says download csv i'm going to click on that and it's going to download this in a comma delimited uh, file and you can use that file in Excel. You can upload it into uh, Google Sheets if you want. So I'm going to open it here, and I have a Mac. So it's going to open it in Numbers, and it's going to open it here. So um, there's a lot of information in this. So it's it, it, it's it's got questions. It's got prepositions. It's got uh, comparisons. It's got alphabeticals and let's see, I don't really use the alphabeticals. And it's got related, related topics. So these are, um, these are things that I can use for Answer the Public later. So I can go to Answer the Public later after these, te after these are done, after these are all posted, that I, all the questions that I post, and I could go in and put fertility test. And that's another series of questions or fertility rate that's another series of questions so you know this is just an amazing tool that you can use so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through the questions and i'm going to just copy them all and questions okay i'm just going to copy all the questions so we have 82 questions i think it ends up to be 80 questions okay 80 questions that's 80 articles that Article Forge will write for you, 80 articles, and you can do you can do these prepositions too. You know, you want to go through them after you you paste them in there, copy and paste them uh, into a, a Notepad or WordPress or you know, um, not WordPress, but copy them into a Notepad and make sure that that's exactly what you know. All the questions are, are what you want on your blog. Um, if there's anything that you don't like, you can obviously get rid of it. So after we got them all copied, we're going to go over back to Article Forge, and we're going to go to the Post Scheduler. Now this is assuming that you've got your WordPress automatically, or your WordPress. This is this is to uh, assuming that your WordPress is still connected. You've got your WordPress website connected already. If you need help with that, I do have a, a video I'm going to link down below to that. So um, if you need help with that, watch that video first and come back to this one. So I'm going to go to add post scheduler and you don't need the sub keywords. You just need these main keywords. So I'm just going to paste them all in there. These are all of them. I'm going to these are all 80 of these questions. These are 80 articles that Article Forge is going to write for me. So article length. These are my article lengths. I can go very short, around 50 words. Short, which is around 250 words. Medium is around 500 words. Long is around 750 words. And very long is around 1,500 words. Now, when you do this, make sure you know what your API limits are and how much you're creating every single day. How many blogs are you creating? How many posts per blog are you going to be creating? Because you don't want to blow through your API credits real fast. You've got 250,000 words to use every single month on Article Forge. So just keep that in mind when you select how uh, big of, a, of an article, how long of an article you want. So 
I always do medium, around 500 words. We can add section headings. So I recommend that you do that when we do that when you get from answer the public because we're not putting in um, sub keywords. So um, we're just putting in the main keywords. So I'm going to add section headings as well, and I'm going to select to auto generate section headings. That'll that'll auto generate the section headings from the keyword and from the title. We can add an image. I'm going to go ahead and select it to add an image. It's going to add an image to every article. You can select it to add a video if you want. I'm not going to do that. It'll it'll take a video from YouTube, a random uh, video uh, in that niche. It will take a fertility video from YouTube and place it in there if I want, but I'm not going to do that right now. I can replace keywords with links. If I want to um, say I want to I want to turn this on and I want to add a new keyword replacement. So every time you know something pops up with fertility, I can go ahead and or like fertility test every time a fertility the fertility test is is mentioned on there and I can um, recommend an Amazon product I can link it to an Amazon product and it's really really cool how you can do that and you make that's a really good way to make money to make money off of your articles from article forge is to put affiliate links in here with your keyword keyword replacements uh, okay, so select the blogs and tags. So I'm going to go ahead and select my fertility scoop here from blogs. You can select tags if you want. I always do blogs. And your article posting, one article per day. You can do as many as you want. You can do per day or per week. You can have a maximum of 21 posts per day or 147 posts per week. With whatever options you select okay okay and you've selected one blogs you've selected to post on all blogs at the rate of one article per day this gives you a total of one wordpress posts per day and we're going to go ahead and create and we can go ahead and post a name fertility answer the public is what i'm going to name it and create okay so it's it's created and it will start usually it starts i noticed that it will take it sometimes a couple of days to start so if you're not noticing that your your uh, posts are not going over and publishing right away that's normal sometimes it takes up to t up to 2 days for that to happen i've noticed on some of mine if you have any concerns um Go ahead and uh, shoot over a, an email to Article, Article Forge support. It's support at articleforge.com. And every time I've had to contact them, they've they've replied right back. They're they are very very helpful people. So um, any inform any type you any kind of problem that you have, um, message them, email them. So that's all I have to do. That's it. Now my articles are posting every single day for 80 days 80 days i have to come back in a little less than three months and add more that's it that's it and um and i'll show you what happens here i've got um i've got a yoga website that i've that i'm doing here and let me uh click on i believe it's this one it shows you the history okay and it'll show you what was created It'll give you the link, and then it'll also tell you if the post was successful. So that's really, really cool as well. And if you want to see what kind of uh, 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 quality articles that Article Forge uh, spits out, go to this website. It's allstretches.com, and that's every single post on that website is all Article Forge. Now, some are not with answer to the public. I've done some with different, uh, with a different uh, keyword tool, and I'm going to do another video on that later. But um, I really wanted to do this video to show you that you can use Article Forge really, really cool with nothing but a free keyword tool. So I hope you enjoyed this Article Forge case study. If you did, make sure you click the like below. Also, be sure to comment down below if you enjoyed it. Is there something that uh, 
that uh, you needed help with or something like that, I will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, also, please, please hit that subscribe button um, because I'm going to be doing more Article Forge case studies later on as well. So thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.